Steinberg dropped an absolute bomb earlier on this week when they announced the release of Cubasis for Android devices. I've used Cubase Pro for years on the PC and Mac, and also Cubasis on the iPad, but releasing for Android was kind of unexpected and a nice surprise. Overall, it works pretty smoothly. The graphics look great, the mixer looks excellent. There is a strange issue on my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus in that there's a lot of clicking and popping when using just the internal audio or wired headphones. However, if you plug the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus into an HDMI adapter and play through your television, or use a pair of Bluetooth headphones, the popping and clicking goes away. It's a very odd phenomenon, and I'm sure it's just a version 1 bug. DSP is pretty good as well, running the demo track, it really just peaks at about 75-80%, and there's quite a few audio tracks, virtual instruments, and indeed reverb, delay and EQ plugins running here as well. Now, there are a few downsides to the Android version of Cubasis. Uh, first of all, it only runs at 48 kilohertz uh, in terms of the audio quality, 16 or 24 bit, whereas the iPad version can run up to 96 kilohertz, I believe. Also, one of the great things about having Cubasis on the iPad is that you can actually run audio units to an extent. Um, so Pro-Q, for example, uh, some of the great Waves plugins are also available on the Cubasis version on the iPad. That's not available on Android. However, baby steps. I just love the fact that I can run Cubase, essentially, through an HDMI cable from a mobile phone in up to 4K resolution. Um, so this is probably going to be the future.